punk. You can't look like a punk in prison. Get it together. Get it together. Well, sweetie, you need a little bit of water. She loves new meat and your new meat, baby, so you better watch out for her. We may not have Tinder in here, but we do have toilet talking. One of the best ways is to go ahead and get you some prison booze. Yeah, some love interests, you know. Um, welcome to the prison here, someone. We may not be the Beverly Hills 90210 here, someone, but we make do with what we have. And um, I can guarantee you'll always look better walking out than you did walking in. So do you know what you want today, sweetie? I will allow me to read you the prison here, someone menu, okay? We've got curls. We've got hair dye and treatments. We've got hair growth treatments. We've got hair cut slow down. Well, first of all, give me your name. You're new here, aren't you? And let's start with some prison curls. I mean, that's an option. What I can do is give you some gorgeous curls. Would you like that? Well, we start off with pens or pencils, except besides the point but I start with pencils a pen and I start taking it here like this and I wrap it around okay leave it there put a little treatment in it and before you know it you've got beautiful curls are you interested in that option no Okay, so now you can dye your hair. No, of course we can't dye your hair with real hair dye, silly. There's no clear rolls of Sally's beauty in here. I mean, it's present, baby. You got Kool-Aid. I told you, we make do with what we have. This is the Kool-Aid from Commissary. Of course, you're going to have to pay, okay? This is like gold around here, gold powder. We use the Kool-Aid for everything, you know, this, this color in it, this pigment in it. So, we use it to dye your hair. Um, we could do like a green, we could do a purple, a blue, um, a red. You know, it's really whatever you want. You might be interested in that. Okay, yeah. You know what? I feel like with you all particularly here, you would just look stunning in a red color. Yeah. Come on, a red on you. You're gonna look like a Jessica Rabbit. I love that. Let's put that down as a possibility, all right? And the next, we'll also have a hair growth treatment. Mm-hmm. So we use that minus that, baby. Yeah, there's no hair affinity or biotin in here. Does anyone still use hair affinity out there in the outside world? I don't know, but it's prison. Okay, so we use minus that. It's worked for every girl that's needed her hair to grow, so don't question it, you know. It works like a charm. I mean, listen, were you questioning what was in your Chick-fil-A sandwich when you were out there in the real world? I'll wait. No, didn't think so. 
trust me sweetie the monastery that works miracles you're gonna be looking so pretty you're gonna have such long walks but you know what she has already pretty long and so I, I don't know that we should go with that for today what do you think Yeah, let's skip the monastery, okay? So let's just go with the haircut and hair dye, all right? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna just start cutting your hair here. And we're gonna chit chat a little bit because I know you're new. I know, I know that you're new. But yeah, I'm just gonna start cutting your hair. Just a little trim, right? Nothing major. And then, um,. We will do the hand dye. And um, what do you want to do? When you you want to do like a red color? Yeah, a red. That's also that looks so stunning on you. All right, so just gonna comb out your hair. And then we're just gonna start trimming it, okay? Usually the hand dye would cost you some commissary items, but I'll tell you what. Come here, I don't wanna, you know, say it out loud and let all the other girls know, but um, since you're new and I kinda like your vibes, I'm gonna go ahead and give you half off, so I'm only gonna charge you. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know, we gotta look out for each other in here, you know. Unless you try me, and then it's not gonna be pretty for you. But you know, I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I know you're new here, so you know. And I mean, and honestly, plus, we had a prison party the other day, so there's a lot of leftover red Kool Aid. But don't tell the other girls, cause they'll fight over it. So, you know, I have like an extra two packs. I'm gonna go ahead and draw your hand with it, okay? How did I know that you were new here? Sweetie, I know all the faces around here, okay? I should do, should do. I'll tell you, we got Carla, Mariah, Big Bertha, Lassie, Candace. We got Turn Her Out Tina. Yeah, Turn Her Out Tina. Come here. If you came to prison straight, you won't be heterosexual for long. I mean, if Tina gets her hands on you, it's a rip. I'm just saying, that's why she has that name. That's why she has the name Turn Her Out Tina. Yeah. Are you straight? I mean, if I'm being honest with you, I did date her once. But I mean, who did it? Tina's for the streets, you know? Everybody in prison dated her. I mean, the way that I like to think of it is like... She was like a two-for-one deal, you know. She's bigger, so it's like she could protect you. She's got muscle on her, so, you know, she would serve as like a, you know, a bodyguard. And then also a lover. And, you know, in here, it don't get no better than that, baby. You know, you got loving, and then you got someone to protect you in here. I mean, trust me, it doesn't get better than that. And listen, she loves new meat and your new meat, baby, so you better watch out for her. It might not be a bad thing, though, to dabble in a little bit of prison love, you know what I'm saying? And if you want your men's, 
you can do that too. Well, of course, it's not a co-ed prison, but we've got our ways, baby. Um, you're gonna learn soon. In prison, there is always a way, okay? Always. There's a way and a method to do everything, and I'll fill you in. You got some split ends down here, so I'm just gonna go ahead and cut that off for you. And I'll share with you some stories. We usually do a dry hair cut in here, but sweetie, you need a little bit of water. I'm actually gonna go ahead and brush. What are you in here for? Oh, you don't want to tell me, huh? Okay, well. Why am I in prison? <laughs> why am I in prison? Are you sure you want to know why I'm in prison? Well, I, oh gosh, I've shared this story so many times and every time it's always just a little bit embarrassing to tell it. <laughs> just come here, I, I'm a little, I'm a little shy, you know, even though I've shared this story with everyone. I caught my man's cheating and so one night, okay, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna spare you the details, but I dropped this. Mm-hmm. Went ahead and chopped it right off and you wanna know the best part? crazy part is the crazy part is he still pays for all of my commissary items he puts money on my books he comes to visit me right on time every visitation he comes to visit me and I mean we still have this like relationship Even though I'm not exactly being faithful in here. I mean, to be honest with you, I think he's being more faithful than I am. And he's the one with freedom. Look. Talk to me. Tell me. How has prison been for you? I mean, tell me. How has it been so far? I know you're new, but you know, I'd love to like kind of help the girls. Like transition from like the real world to present, you know? Well, of course, it's been difficult, sweetie. This is prison, not Disney World. <laughs> I mean, get specific with me, you know? Like, let me know, what are you struggling with here? Mm-hmm. 
Okay. You miss your mans. So you are. We're done with this haircut. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, start your hair dye. And the good news is, I have a solution for you, okay? Yes, I have a solution for you, don't worry. Okay? Your hair looks really good. We went ahead and cut off any of your split ends here. Okay, and we're just gonna start dyeing your hair with the um Kool-Aid. yeah don't stress out okay i'm gonna tell you the solution to missing your mans in here okay don't fret and also you are gonna be looking so good okay i mean the hair is trimmed we're gonna add this red color to you honey you're gonna be red carpet ready okay trust Alright, so let's go ahead and get that hand dye started and I'm going to share some stuff with you, okay? It's okay. It'll be okay, okay? Don't cry. Don't cry. I can... Look, I asked you a question and now it's triggered you. It's brought up a little bit of, you know, feelings inside you. It's okay. Let it out, sweetie. Let it out. Trust me. There's a solution for everything in here, Okay. You'll be all right. You will be all right. It's okay. Sweetie, you're in prison. You can't. You cannot. cannot, cannot. Let them see you crying, you know, okay? It's a sign of weakness and you gotta toughen it up a little bit, you know? Let me fix your hair for you. How do you like the hair? You like that? Huh? Yeah, it's so, so pretty on you. I love it. I love it. It's like just, you know, a little subtle trim, but it really makes your hair look so much more healthy. Um, yeah, it just looks so much healthier. And then, once we add this color, you are just gonna pop. Don't cry, okay? Don't cry. I know. I know all the girls come in here and they miss the mans, the girls, they miss, you know, the family, they miss their friends, and it's a normal thing, but one of the best ways to get over it is to, um, and I know this sounds bad, I know, I know, but come here. Some love interests, you know. Let me go ahead. Gonna mix up the Kool Aid water and a secret ingredient. I can't tell you. It helps the color stay longer. Trust. Are you ready? Oh, sweetie, sweetie. Stop crying. Look, it happens to all the new girls, okay? Get your last tears out. 
I'm all about solutions. So She sees you looking like this, she's gonna pounce on you. Don't let Carla pounce on you. Get it together. Get it together. Okay, I'm just gonna start. Toilet talking. All right, so basically what toilet talking is, is it's a way that a lot of people have met in person. Okay, so what it is, is you take all of the water out of the toilet, okay, and then you dump it inside of the sink, right? And then you knock on the toilet, right? And then whoever answers, because there's people on like the second floor, there's people on the third floor, fourth, fifth, eighth, all the way up to the tenth floor. And whoever answers, you can actually have a whole conversation with them. Yes, you can. So, I have personally known marriages that have happened from prison uh, toilet conversations. Toilet talking, yeah. I mean, I literally, some of my friends in prison have literally gotten married from the toilet. Yeah. So, I honestly think you should try it. Listen, there's been a lot of trauma that has happened with um, toilet talking as well. A lot of drama, okay? Here, let me fix. Let me dye your hair a little bit more over here and then I will tell you. Listen, do you know Candace and Jessica? Okay, so. talking about right okay so it started when Candace tried toilet walking for the first time you know well, she was missing her man's too and so you know one day she took all of the toilet water out because her bunkie told her about it so she took all the toilet water out dumped it in the sink 
started knock knock knocking on the toilet and then this guy on the third floor answered right well they started talking and they started having a meeting time every day right so they would say you know every day at four o'clock i'm gonna knock on the toilet it was like the telephone time and so you know they started a relationship that way started talking to each other and um they made it official after three weeks right because what happens is when you're like walking to wreck, like, you know, because we're given some sunshine every day, unless you're in solitary confinement, you sometimes pass like the males, right? And so they would pass each other notes or whatever, you know, so like love notes and letters. And then they also had, you know, toilet talking time it's like a cell phone in here you know so they had love letters and like toilet talking i mean what else do you need you know so then one day jessica decided that she wanted to try toilet talking too so then she Knock, 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 knock. Lo and behold, someone answers her call. And the person who answers her call was Candace's boyfriend. So they start a relationship as well. So the guy is basically cheating on them both because of course prison men are not the most faithful obviously and um yeah they're not faithful out there they ain't gonna be faithful in here so um you know candace and jessica start fighting it was one of the worst prison fights i mean i'm talking about they were knocking each other's teeth out okay If I'm being honest with you, come here. Candace lost that fight and she was bold after that. I mean, just got stored through that scalp and she was just bold at it after that, you know? And I had to use our infamous, you know, hair growth monostat treatment on her. You know, and look at her now. Look at her. Her hair is gorgeous now. Why it grew back in six months? why I told you that stuff is like gold I'm telling ya you know and so So I would suggest you trying toilet talking, but don't steal anyone's man or woman. It could get you into some deep shit in here. No pun intended. So we're almost done here. I'm just going to go ahead a little bit more because you're out of kool-aid sweetie so if you want a deeper darker color you're gonna have to come up with some commissary items oh i have to introduce you to my bunkie she's kind of new too right only been in prison for a few months such such a sweetheart. I really think you'll like her, you know? I really like the both of your vibes, you know? You're both great energy. And, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and put this one. And then you're gonna let it sit, and then we'll wash it out, okay? 
But sweetie, I will introduce, you know, my bunkie to you. She is a sweetheart, you know. She kind of struggled and he as well. So I think you guys ought to talk to each other and, you know, get to know each other a little bit. You know? Look, is this going to be girls in here that you hate, you know? There's my fair share of girls in here that I just do not like. But I'll beat them in the prison talent search, you know, to just kind of get my revenge. Yeah, there's a prison talent search coming up. You know, there's visitation day, there's parties. I mean, look, as I told my bunkie, prison is the worst place to be, right? But... We know how to have fun, you know, we have to, we have to keep our humanity and our sanity in here, you know, we have to just do the best with what we have. We create art in here, we create entertainment, you know, I mean, we literally have to, I mean, look, this makeup I did with M&M's, you see this little tint on my lips, I did this with M&M's, and like this powder and like the blush is M&M's too. The powder is flower, you know. My nails is <laughs> come here, well, you know, the nails is because I have a relationship with one of the person gods, but keep that on the hush hush. It's still new, you know, it's still new, but you know, he's like my plug for stuff, you know. I, I, I get what I want around here, you know, so it's kind of like you know, you have to learn how to maneuver and. And, and, and work, work it, you know, and, and you're so lovely, you're so lovely, you all look at your energy, you're so, you're an amazing person, I can tell, right, now I got my eyes out on ya, cause you can never trust these bitches in jail, but you know, I, uh, I feel like you have potential, and so I just want to help you, you know, I see you struggling in here, and I just want you to calm it down, Everything will be okay, all right? Everything will be okay. Look, we're gonna let that sit on your hand. You're gonna wash it out and you're gonna be looking like Jessica Rabbit, okay? So, you know where I am. Um, I'm only gonna charge you for half, you know? So, just the haircut, the hair trim, but not the hair dye, all right? So, yeah, go over there. Um, Sharon's gonna go ahead and come in here and wash your hair and then you gotta get out. Alright, because I gotta catch some Z's. The prison guard and I have a little meeting. Alright, and um, I'll see you when I see you. Alright, sweetie? Alright. Hey guys, so if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment, and um, subscribe if you haven't. I really appreciate you and I hope that you have a great day or night wherever you are.